Fossils provide evidence about the nature of an environment in the past. For example, finding fossils of seashells gives us a clue as to what this area was like millions and millions of years ago. Finding fossils of marine organisms provides evidence this area was once covered by an ocean. There are fossils of organisms from the ocean all around Texas, and that provides evidence that most of Texas was once covered by an ancient ocean. Marine fossils can even be found in some deserts. So even though water is hard to find in these deserts today, millions and millions of years ago, the areas were once covered with water. Fossils of ferns and leaves from trees provides evidence that the area was once a forest. We can compare these fossils to leaves from trees that are alive today. This doesn't just give us clues about what the trees look like, it also gives us information about the climate. That's because different trees grow in different climates, whether it's tropical or temperate or arid. And so when I study the fossils of leaves, I can get an idea about what the climate was like millions and millions of years ago in an area. Fossils are found in the layers of sedimentary rocks. And by studying what layer a fossil came from, we can get an idea of about how old it is. The oldest fossils in an area are in the deepest layers of rock. That's because they were buried long before the other fossils. The youngest fossils in an area are in the top layers of rock, and that's because they were buried more recently. Looking at the different layers can tell us how the environment changed over time. For example, I can see that this area started out covered in water, but eventually became a forest. I hope this video has helped you understand fossils a little better. Keep up the great work, and I'll see you next time.